Belief. What is it? And why is it important to you? And why is it important to you as an athlete striving to achieve excellence? An athlete who's striving to achieve their dreams and ambitions. It's important to you because without it, you're going to struggle. Through those moments when things aren't quite going right, when you're being challenged, when you're faced with adversity, the thing which carries you through all of these events is your inner belief about yourself, that self-determination, that tenacity, that desire, that sheer will to get it done. And if you don't really believe about yourself, in your heart of hearts, subconsciously and consciously, if you don't believe about yourself when you need to, then you'll fold in that moment. Your body, your mind will start working against you. But your mind wants to work for you. Your mind wants to give you what you tell it. And the problem is, or the challenge is, is that you may have learned something about yourself when you were much younger and that created a belief. And that belief, if it's one which is disempowering you, that belief could be holding you back. And you could have the belief that you want to go on and become the greatest athlete in the world. And you might have one belief that wants this and you might have this other limiting belief which could have come from either one significantly highly charged emotional event or the belief could have been created by a series of multiple events which have stacked up over time to create one belief. Either way, if you have this going on inside your neurology, this going on inside your subconscious mind, it's like driving with one foot on the brakes and one foot on the accelerator. It doesn't know what to do, it's going to hold you back and when when this limiting belief sees a, a scenario or situation which um, is incongruent with or is incongruence with this belief, then it's going to start to bring into play all of the actions, behaviours that it thinks that you need to do to protect you. So, what actually are beliefs? Well, when we look at them inside the brain, they're being formed from from imprints, neurological imprints, which are essentially memories. One memory is like a holographic movie with emotions and sounds attached to it inside of your mind. And these are how our brains, our bodies learn what to do and what not to do. What's going to bring me pleasure? What's going to bring me pain? What do I be needing to move towards? What do I need to move away from? And one of the first people to really start to look at the phenomena of beliefs was a doctor in World War II who was going treating soldiers who had had their legs and arms blown off. And he ran out of morphine. And because he didn't want his patients to go into shock and obviously uh, make the situation far worse and obviously potentially die, he told his assistant to just fill up the empty morphine bottles with water. And in that moment, after that, he began injecting his patient with what was just water. But the soldier saw the label of morphine and in that moment presumed that he was receiving morphine. And then the doctor proceeded to go and, and carry out various different actions, procedures, and that soldier didn't feel any pain. And this was a paradigm shift for this doctor. And he promised himself that after the war finished, as long as he was still around, he was gonna spend his life discovering exactly what was happening there. And this is what arose to the placebo, the placebo effect. And I suggest that you go, after this video, go and do your own research into the placebo and the power of the placebo. Because when you really look at it, the placebo is just a belief, the belief about what will happen, the belief of something with a high degree of certainty, a 
belief where you are expecting a result to happen and then it happens. So why is this important to you? This is important to you because if you're going to go out and perform to your best, you have to, you have to believe it, you have to expect it, you have to expect that you are going to perform. Your mind needs to have the pattern of belief that this is getting done. And you need to get used to training your mind, if you haven't, into knowing ahead of time exactly what is happening. And you can create and shape and strengthen and reinforce your beliefs. All of my neuroscience techniques and technologies are uniquely designed to help strengthen beliefs or to actually replace and change disempowering beliefs which were getting in your way, that were holding you back. But you can still do this yourself. And it, it begins by taking down that, that piece of paper and a pen and finding out where those reads are inside your mind, where those limited beliefs are inside of your mind. And then start to challenge them. Because you're gonna need belief. Things aren't always gonna go your way. And you don't want it to always go your way. Because when you, when you are faced with a challenge, when you're faced with some kind of issue, when you get beyond it, that is when growth occurs. Growth occurs during that process and after it. Your mind, your body has learned something new and it will elevate you to another level. And when you're the type of athlete who's striving for excellence, you're constantly trying to find those one, two, three, four percent things which are just going to keep nudging you up more and more and more. This was why I created the Science of Excellence, to give athletes these unique tools and strategies to help take them to the next level, even if it's just a difference of 1%. When you're performing at the top, 1% could be enough. The 100 meter sprint is a prime example of that. You've got the greats, the fastest men and women on the earth going head to head. And the percentage difference on that day often is near the school. It's a few small percent. And you're trying to stack up these percents over time. 1% here, 1% there, 1% here, 1% there. Over time, every week, every month, every year. We're just nudging yourself closer and closer towards your potential. But you've got to have the belief that's going to keep you on track, that's going to keep you on, on your journey. So you have to set your intentions in your mind. You have to set it ahead of time and you have to make your beliefs big. You have to make them clear. You have to make them bright. You have to make them 3D. You need to make the beliefs inside your mind so crystal clear that your brain knows the exact pattern, the exact thing which you want. So it knows what to do. So when it comes to it, it just repeats the pattern. You can take hold of these beliefs and reshape them yourself. When you're going down, breaking down your beliefs and looking at building new beliefs, get used to drawing images and pictures which represent what your beliefs mean to you. Take some time in your journal and design a belief, a belief about yourself. Let's maybe, in this scenario, just pick the belief about you achieving your targets, your goal, your goals and ambitions in your sport and draw out this image of what it means to you because that's what your brain is doing. Your brain is creating images based on things, based on memories, based on wants, based on desires, based on the past. But you're trying to plan for the future. You're trying to plant the seeds of belief ahead of time. And it starts by building it. And you can build it with a pen and paper and color and you can ingrain it into your mind. And the more you see this image, the more this image grows. And then the more you'll see this image. And then each day you'll wake up and just step into your dream. You'll step into this belief, step into your dream. And you'll just keep going. The power of belief is so strong. And without it, you're not gonna have enough to take you through the journey of life, to take you through the ups and downs. So get used to creating these new powerful beliefs and building on the beliefs that you've got. Find the evidence 
The beliefs are all about evidence. There's an evidence supporting the belief. This, this holographic package of information inside your subconscious mind needs information to create it. It needs something to support it. And you support it with, with words, with images, with feelings, because the words and the images create the feeling. That's all, ultimately, a belief is. It's a feeling of certainty about something. When you know, you know. And when you look at the, the great athletes of the world, the Cristiano Ronaldo's, the Michael Jordan's, the Muhammad Ali's, they set their intentions, their intentions ahead of time. They just knew because they had planted it. They planted this seed and let it grow into fruition to the point where they're just gonna believe themselves no matter what. No matter how many mistakes they make, no matter how many matches they lose, no matter how many people who doubt them, they don't mean anything to them. That's why they, they, they achieve what they do. They achieve what they, what they do in their sporting life because they have a belief, and their beliefs are like magnets. They attract to them whatever supports them. And if it is a disempowering negative belief, it's gonna attract, it's gonna look for the things that support the negativity. If you don't believe you're good enough, when you make a mistake, ah, that's more evidence to support that limiting belief. Your coach says something to you, that's more evidence that I'm not good enough. But the great athletes, the great athletes, the Ronaldos, the Messis, the Ali's, the Daley Thompsons, the Bolts, the Phelps, the Serena Williams, these people, they have a different set of beliefs. They believe that they are great. They believe that they can go and achieve the unachievable. And they're just searching for the evidence that supports it. When they go and do something well, that's more evidence to support the belief about how great I am, about how good I am, about how unstoppable I am. They overcome some kind of adversity, more belief. I told you I was good enough. I told you I was gonna do this. I knew, I knew I was gonna do this. And you want to get used to building these beliefs of power inside of your mind so that you're not having these incongruent um, war games going on inside your mind. One thing that wants this, one thing that wants this. As I said, when you have these warring neurological parts, these warring beliefs inside your mind, it's like having the foot on the gas and the foot on the accelerator at the same time. The brain doesn't quite know what to do. So then your actions become jerky. They become uncertain you become doubtful, you become hesitant. And when you're performing against the very best, hesitancy, doubt, fear, anxiety, are not gonna get you where you wanna be. So I urge you, if you really wanna start taking your performance to the next level, then start breaking down your beliefs and start building powerful beliefs. The greatest gift you can give to yourself is to believe in your heart of hearts that you are good enough. Maybe you, be, you could be kind enough to yourself to start saying to yourself repeatedly, I am good enough. I am good enough. Try it. Take some time, get your journal out, pen, paper, and start shaping and creating powerful beliefs. And if you're the type of athlete who really wants to take this further now, then just get in touch. Leave a comment below. You can email me. You can go to my website. You can get in touch via phone and you and I can make a free one hour consultation and start mapping out exactly how, how we can take your performance to a whole new dimension. Thanks again for watching. See you soon.